Hi guys, it's Teacher Janil. Welcome to my channel. And today we're going to talk about the sounds of the suffix ed when they are added to verbs. You always, I know that you wonder how the sound should be produced once they're added to some words. Actually, there are three simple things I'm going to teach you today. First is we need to identify whether the base words are voiced or unvoiced. And the second one is to identify what sound to produce. And the third one is, of course, we produce that sound. Here are the sounds that we consider voice sounds. Once these sounds are added to base words, that is the time when you produce the sound D at the end of that word. For example, you say open. Open, the last sound is N, that's an N sound, that's voiced sound. So when you add ED, you're going to say opened. You hear that D sound at the last part? Opened, opened. When you say smile, smile, the last sound is L, L. That's a voiced sound. So smiled, smiled, another D sound at the last part. So the sound of ED is D. Another one, adore, adore. The last sound is R, that's R, the sound of R, another voice sound. So when you add ED, you're going to say adored, adored. Next, the word show, show. The last sound of that base word is U, it's the sound of W. So when you add ED, you're going to say showed, showed. Okay, so that's... The sound of D when added, when the sound of ED when added to voiced sounds. So base words ending in voiced sounds or ending in letters with voiced sounds. Next is when you add ED to base words ending in unvoiced, ending with unvoiced sounds. What do you mean by unvoiced sounds? These are sounds that are produced only through puff of air or through your tongue or your lips. Here are the letters that produce unvoiced sounds or they are unvoiced, okay? For example, you say ask, ask. When you say ask, the last letter, the last sound is k, k. that's a sound of k. K, k is unvoiced. So when you add ed, you're going to say asked you're going to say asked asked you will not make your life difficult or complicated by saying asked that is very difficult so do not push the d there you have to replace the d sound or the ed there with a t sound so you're going to say asked asked if it's going to be british you're going to say asked asked Okay, the nasal thing there. Next example is close, close. So the sound is Z, close. That's a voice, so you're going to add E. When you are going to add E, you're going to produce the last sound there with a T. So you're going to say closed, closed. See, T sound, laugh. That's an F, we produce it through the puff of air, laugh. That's a voice. When you add ed to that, you're going to say laughed, laughed, the sound of t in the last part, laughed. If you are in the mood for the British English, you're just going to say laughed, laughed, still a t sound in the last part. Then we have the word rush, rush. We have an sh, the sh sound, which is of course unvoiced. When you add ed, you're going to say rushed, rushed, t sound in the last part. Then if you're going to say box, the verb form of the word box, when you add ed, you're going to say boxed, boxed, the t sound, boxed, not the d sound, okay? How about when we add ed to words, base words ending in t or d? This is the part when you're going to produce the sound id, id or id. So you could use the schwa sound, or the it sound, id or id. For example, melt, 
melt. That ends with a T sound. When you add D, not D, when you add ED, you're going to say melted. Melted. You are not going to read that with a very eh, uh, wet sound of an eh. You're not going to say melted. Don't say melted. It's melted. Melted. You can go with a schwa sound melted or you can go melted. Melted. Okay? How about if it, there is a D? Add. Add. That already ends with a D. If you're going to add an ED, the suffix ED, you're going to say added. Added. Not added. Though Filipinos tend to read suffixes like that when added to verbs. We tend to say melted, added, lifted. But that is only because Filipinos usually read words the way they are written. But in English, in the rules of English, when you're going to add a suffix ed to words ending in t or d, you say id, lifted, melted, surrounded, surrounded. Okay, so how about we practice some phrases with those words that we just had. You read with me. Opened for public viewing. Opened for public viewing. Opened. Opened. Sweetly smiled. Sweetly smiled. Smiled. Adored by everyone. Adored by everyone. Adored. Adored. Showed respect. Showed respect. Showed. Showed. Asked politely. Asked politely. Asked. Asked. Or you could say asked politely. Asked politely. Asked. Asked. Permanently closed. Permanently closed. Closed. Laughed boisterously. Laughed boisterously. Laughed laughed or you say laughed 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 boisterously laughed boisterously rushed to the er rushed to the er rushed rushed boxed beautifully boxed beautifully boxed boxed melted like ice melted like ice melted melted lifted up high Lifted, lifted up high, lifted, lifted, added to the list, added to the list, added, added, surrounded by water, surrounded by water, surrounded, surrounded. This lesson that we have today, or perhaps tomorrow, if you're going to watch this tomorrow, the next days to come, will be helpful in your pronunciation. So perhaps I would have eased out your problems with how to pronounce words when you add an ED, especially for Filipinos who tend to read ED as an ED. So now you know that you don't need to pronounce it ED, it's ID. You don't need to insist on a D sound because you added ED. You could always produce the sound T right after the verb, depending on the end sound of the base word. So, teacher Janil, what's more? To talk for now. Bye bye. <laughs>